Bullet shot in front, door, eyes throb for air. You enter in pockets he has emptied. The difference breathes in sincere acknowledgement. Chill of cowering knees in between your doors, reeks of blood told to expel from a valley, snow scraping a scar caught on fire. This is for Bill Grandpa Goldberg. In all of nine years, there is still a ref reflection of bustling tennis shoes from the back room to the door elated in listening to see eyes and arms both reaching up. There is love to your shoulders, arms awaiting stories, eyes awaiting the familiar turns of your wishful face. It's me, Bear. Push rough heels down the hill, a way to use them again. A bear on its hind legs melts back to concrete, signal for heels to walk by and continue drying in iron's shadow. Downbeat. Only a basement room acknowledges the skin has spoken. Welts bubble the surface and raise their fingers in the air to ask for a moment of speech. I've seen an ocean wave crash me open in red sand, once made from what moves blue through my veins before reaching the air. I've seen a tidal wave settle beside a cracking mesa who craves for a drop from the dusty cornea. It is known now that this is the last singular moment. Each to follow will contain inhalation on the opposite breath. Keeping time. Leaving the high rise, I walk gray streets on a moment's break from rain. A bright umbrella reflects against my hair to arrive in shiny leather, leather shoes at the end of Beach Street, where cement stops quickly and is buried under sand on the downslope. Skipping along the edge of benches, the same ones that my grandmother used to sit at to get out of the sun and watch the waves pulse and continuously turn, the green awning at first covers the view that towers above, engulfing the high rise that's now melted into rock and snow. Waves excitedly chase my heels back to cement. Briefly tasting the soles, I glance above the awning at mountains that indent and separate the clouds, pierce light just above their snow caps, watching over waves and keeping time. Skin. The house newly covered in light pink, a shell to hold in night wanderers. Fragile as skin, there to cover old chipping yellow paint and distract from the bizarre insides. Worthy of trick-or-treating to the house just to steal a look into the front hallway, to the red carpeted stairway. Evening shutter winds hit the cracking glass windows beside, held tight to the chair in the living room corner. Eyes, another, watch my eyes, down to a book, resting on my shivering knees. Wind circles the pink skin house, blushing, window by window. White curtains billow and wave in slow-moving formations, each wider than the last. In the wind's pulse, a small child's laughter, quiet, subtle, travels from the doorway. Blurry green with blue bottoms, small knees. He peers out from the corner, more laughter. When glasses reach my eyes, he's vanished. No longer behind the doorway, not hidden in a corner or under the stairway with the line of winter coats. Pace back to the corner chair through the doorway, skin, hair raised to the tips. <clears throat> Gauze, title courtesy of Amy King. Born clean out of your bloodstream of magnetic directions, recount them in ocean skin on the devil's night. Utter the shrine, the raven feather, the glass heart. Breeze in slender space between subway rails, eaters in vacuum where movement never touches. Archive every blink and hand movement, never penetrates sweet with a human hand, with fingernails without. A glove find earth, steer clear of radiating exit signs, ambiguous, 
an altering of witches here dried, flowers placed over names, continue to write even for the mental being, and dates on stones that now cover them with swirls, steel-plated air, delete illness in the condition of suffering. There are notes still hidden in her sliding wooden doors. Return again with new thoughts with noise and trash voices, hear oral tradition and chords pass back and forth, molded by red sand, return again and singing. This is called Lilac. Sense limbs move where the oriental rug meets the couch, huddle sleep on his side, pause together, breathe into the hardwood floor, fur between toes, heel, sweetest from his center point, drying tip salt, drip from the sailboat that made me sad, hidden in lilac, lofty pear, coiled pink around the block in mid-afternoon, you ate several dollar bills, a few coins, the cover of E.T. on VHS, the end chapter of a novel, so long not said, kitchen floor, tail moved and swift to her entrance, Valentine in your name, spirit, watch after the kids in the red house, ears drape on couch cushions, orange silhouette on brown fabric, scratch at green legs, held your photograph, sunken against the doorway along green carpet, I knew the moment it happened. You dispersed into golden mist that came all the way upstairs to the crack of my bedroom door in cries. One last walk down Powderhouse Lane. Curled in the porch corner, hover clear a few feet above lizard gravestones. I learned you by heart, I'd say to anyone who asked. It made me sad when I was the only one who could see you, and I was so happy to see you. This is my last poem. Swoon in waves shake, the air blend in with lilacs, the blooming dogwood tree. There is so much love in this life. <laughs>